before they pass away. I want you to think about these words deeply. Before they pass away. Jimmy Nelson is a photographer from Holland who has devoted his life to these four words. From Siberia to Buenos Aires, Jimmy has traveled the world to photograph indigenous tribes who are on the brink of extinction due to the immense modernization of the world. Today I'm not only going to be discussing Jimmy Nelson's journey, but the stories and lives of the tribes that he's trying to help. In 2009, Nelson began working on the project before they pass away. In his three-year trip, he traveled the world, visiting 35 indigenous tribes and photographing them, their worlds and their cultures. Jimmy traveled the seemingly unknown corners and parts of the earth to raise awareness about these various cultures. Nelson used his camera as a weapon to help these tribes as he conveys important messages about our human nature and issues with the path that the world is on. Is it just that people and a way of life is compromised for the so-called progress of man? Cultures worldwide are going extinct simply because their way of life is not modern or civilized. They suffer because they are different. But are they really that different? Is the modern way of life of industrialized nations truly superior to these small tribes scattered around the world whose vibrant cultures and existence span centuries? These are the questions that Jimmy Nelson is trying to arise. And these are the questions that my group and I have contemplated and are trying to answer. One of the tribes that Nelson photographed was the Chukchi tribe from Siberia. The Chukchi tribe live off reindeer population in Siberia as they combat extremely cold weather. In recent past, the Chukchi were taken into an apartment complex near a city that was provided by the government. They began to live a modern life, but they also began to feel depressed and disconnected. The tribe describes how they moved back to their historical lands because it was there that they felt happy. There they lived amongst their elders and children, and there they were happy because they were in touch with themselves, their humanity, and their history. This experience exemplifies how the modern world creates a false, flawed sense of happiness. It creates an illusion that amounting material wealth should be the goal of every person's life. Yet the Chuchi are not wealthy, and they are humble and poor, and they are happy. Another tribe Nelson met were the Maasai, found along the Great Rift Valley near Kenya and Tanzania. The Maasai are one of the last warrior cultures, having lived in their lands since the 15th century. Their way of life is based around their cattle. Their livestock is their source of food and money. Warriors protect their family and their cattle, which speaks to the tribe's emphasis on the importance of family. Relationships are extremely important within the tribe, and they are necessary for the, it to function. They must work together every day to care for each other and their livestock. Since the 19th century, the Maasai have suffered greatly. Not only has disease and prolonged droughts dwindled their tribe and their livestock population, but much of their land has been increasingly taken from them by various governments. About two-thirds of their original historical land has been taken from them. The Maasai are one of the last great cultures in Africa, one that has an immense importance to Africa and the world's history. Yet they are going extinct because they, have, they are seen as lesser people because of their culture. Ultimately, grave injustice is apparent worldwide, as people's human rights and dignity are being violated. These tribes, whose cultures are unique and very important to the world's history, are being destroyed. Their way of life is being compensated because they are different, because they are primitive. How can the nations of the world say that they are progressing, say that they are advancing, if they are violating peoples like the Chukchis and the Maasai's dignity? These cultures, on the brink of extinction, are just as important as the superficial cultures of world powers, such as the United States. However, they are not treated as equals. We put up borders and disassociate ourselves from the others. All people are human, and because we are human, we are equal a fact too often ignored. Jimmy Nelson is a poetic prophet for these exploited cultures. He is raising awareness about their soul existence and how they are disappearing. 
Nelson raises important questions about how the world values human dignity. Too often in the world today are we blinded by ignorance as we continue to let the violation of human dignity to go unnoticed. Therefore, until we, as inhabitants of the world, begin to live as equals and respect each other's basic human dignities and rights, people will continue to suffer unjustly and no true progress will ever be made.